All right, guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to monitor your audio in OBS. This is going to be a quick video. So right now I have OBS open. I have two scenes right now. I have the welcome scene, which is an image that's going to display before I go live. And I have my main camera scene, which is this image where my camera is showing and I have a little bit of background music playing. And I want to be able to monitor the background music on this scene. And on my main camera scene, I want to be able to monitor the background music that's playing just to make sure it's not too loud, to make sure maybe sometimes it may get muted and I won't know, right? So I want to make sure it's actually I know what people are getting on the stream. So let's go to the welcome scene first. You want to make sure the scene is selected and then we're going to go to under audio mixer and then we can, we're going to go ahead and right click on audio mixer, go to advanced. And as you can see, we see all the audio sources and what you need to do, you need to go to where it says intro music. That's my music. And I'm going to go to audio monitoring and hit monitor or choose monitor and output that way. Now I can hear it, right? Let me just pause it. Now I can hear it, so I know what's going on. I can even control it when I reduce the volume, I know what's going on, right? So I can do go ahead and do the same thing on my main camera here. Same thing, advanced audio properties. And what I can do, if I wanna monitor my own microphone, which I don't recommend, you can actually go ahead and do so if you want to maybe adjust some volume or you want to add some effects and you wanna know what they, they will sound like. You can do the same thing. You can go to main mic and then go to under monitor and output under audio monitoring, do the same thing, okay? Again, this is gonna create some echoes it's not recommended but if you need it for the sake of adjusting some effects and turn it off afterwards okay it will be something to consider so if i do it right now i have an echo okay but again i can hear myself and what i can do again i can adjust if i want to adjust some effects adjust the volume and everything make sure i know what it sounds like once i'm satisfied i can go ahead and actually turn it off again so i can go to monitor and just hit off okay you have another choice if you want to monitor only and then mute output if it's something maybe you want to be listening to music and you don't want it to go to the stream because what being output is what people on the stream here okay in most cases either you have it off or you want to choose this option which is monitor and output another thing is on this scene i have some background music and on that background music i want to make sure it's not too loud this is going to be super super useful so you can go under background music again and choose under audio monitoring go to to monitor and output in that case i can actually have my background music be monitored right now it's actually on low so i can increase it a little bit usually for background music i want to make sure it's actually around minus 45 because you don't want to be too loud because you're talking over it right and then once i have the perfect level again i can add too much if i want this is too much minus 45 between minus 45 and minus 50 should be good enough as you can see zero is nice and i'm actually good right now so i can go from this scene to this scene right where my background music is there by zero can you hear it so guys, that's how you monitor your background music or any other audio sources in OBS. But having background music and some music playing on your stream is super amazing. However, if you don't pay attention, your stream get, may get muted or may actually get a strike and your channel can be deleted. So you want to make sure you legally use the music that you're going to be using on your stream. And to avoid any problems, you want to make sure you watch my next video where I'm going to show you how to legally use background music or any music on your stream. And my top three websites where you can get royalty free music to use on your stream to avoid those issues so to get that music make sure you check out this video and i'll see you there guys take care